going to be the first to see this. I'm really, really excited because if this is a game changer, I will, I don't care what the price is because <laughs> well, I struggle with this bed. It's like a pet peeve of mine now. So this baby, if it works, I will recommend it to everybody. Got my coffee cup to go and I'm going to hit the road tonight. Today you are going to see what a struggle it is to make the bed in the van. Just got back from the laundry and now I've got to put it back together and it's no fun. So stay tuned because I found the perfect solution to help with this. You can see this tight area with this the wall to the bathroom here. And it's kind of right where you lay and you want to get, you know, open the blanket and put the cover on. But so it's tight and it's like tight all the way around. Because we were lucky to get a full size bed. It was a twin originally. And we were able to expand out a little bit and get a full size so both of us can sleep in here. Okay, so now you're going to get to see the struggle of making this thing. That's going to go down there. And now I'm going to put the, tuck this all the way around. Okay, I should probably point out, if you see this crease, it is a trifold mattress. Because under the bed up here on this side, in this compartment is the 20 gallon water tank and there's batteries, like our whole electrical thing. So we have to, if anything goes wrong and we have to access this compartment, it's much easier for us because I can't lift and Derek obviously can't lift. So to fold the mattress, three ways and it, then you can and then you can set it at the end of the bed down here while you're working in the battery compartment so the trifold mattress is a necessity for us because I have needed to access that department a lot for various things and um, so we do need this trifold mattress which is handy for us so there always is a crease. I've tried everything to get that crease. So no, 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 that's too long, so let's pull that back. The struggle's real, okay. Right here. This area where this wall is is so hard to tuck. So let's see if I can put the camera where you can actually see what I'm doing. So I have to pull the mattress up. Try to stuff it back here. This is the struggle's real or else it'll be all messy. Still struggling with it. I'm trying to tuck it here where it looks decent from the other part of the van. Uh, no, it's still... Anyway, you get the picture. This is not fun. 
can't see to get it to line up good. Well, that's going to have to do for now. So you can see it's quite the struggle, so imagine getting in and out of bed and how messy it's going to be back here. Um, so most of the time I tuck it how I like it, and then believe it or not I sleep on top with the quilt. So right now I'm going to show you the quilt that's usually here at the end of the bed, and then um, you'll see that's why I just pull up the quilt and sleep on top, it's just too much. Oh, and by the way, if, you know, when Derek's here, um, <laughs> being that he's paralyzed, it's hard to turn over if you get wrapped up in blankets. So he usually has his own blanket, and um, we both sleep on top because he would be tangled in all these blankets. So anyway, let's see. So I have this quilt at the end of the bed. It just got washed. Okay, now that we got the quilts on, let's put the pillows on and then see what it usually looks like. to store things in pillowcases. So this one has like a hand knitted kind of like blanket that you would wear around the campfire or something. Extra blanket in there. And it makes just a nice pillow. You don't have to buy the filling. Um, so we hide all kinds of stuff. We have more stuff in another in the other one up there. Uh, it just, they just make really good places to put gloves, hats, mittens, anything soft. It makes a great storage solution for the van. So here is how the bed is usually made. And you can see it's already wrinkled up from me just sitting there a little bit 
So imagine how torn up it gets very easily just by sitting on it. So here's how it looks if you get inside in the morning. Yeah, so now it's all a big mess and you've got to try to tuck everything again. So this is my struggle. So I think I found the perfect solution to this bed thing and it's going to save me time and effort and I'm going to actually get to be able to get in the bed at night. And this is it and I'm so excited to show you because I think it's going to be a game changer. I have not tried it. It came like this just today. Zip your bed by Betty's. And yes, you can get one on our Amazon link if you really like it, but this, it says nautical navy, but it's the, the new name for it is Aiden, and we're named after kids now, but I had to get a dark color because of the gunner and the dog paws, bringing him dirt and everything, it shows on anything light, so I got this dark um, navy, but navy, there's navy throughout the van, so this should work out nice, but I'm excited to try it because why I'm so excited about this is it's got the sheets are built in, okay, and you can zip your bed shut. So no tucking, no nothing, just pull the zipper. And underneath, um, because it's made for up to a 15 inch mattress, and this is a small mattress, less than six inches, so they, they recommended some of these sheet grippers on the bottom to pull it tight. So we're going to try that out, um, just because I want it tight and I don't want it all wrinkled up like I've been dealing with. So we're going to undo this and hopefully, you're going to put it on like you would a fitted sheet and, and it's all one piece. So when you go to wash it, you just take off the whole thing and it's no separate sheets, none of that. It's built in. Anyway, here we go. Check out the totality of it. Okay, yes, there's a zipper like a sleeping bag. Check it out. These are very well made corners. Look at that. So that slips over your mattress. Like I said, a sheet, and let's look at the top. Check it out. Nice, soft, they call this minky inside sheet that covers your body. The bottom sheet's 100% cotton, and this is what they call the minky material. Although you can order 100% cotton if you want a 100% cotton top sheet. I wanted the minky because it's so, so soft. Anyway. Let's get this on the bed. It does come with two pillowcases and let's check them out. Okay, it comes with two regular pillowcases, 100% cotton. They match the inside and then two pillow shams. And these pillow shams are kind of cool because they do have the, the pocket, so when your pillow is in there, it slides over it like an envelope. So, really, really well made. That all comes with it if you order a full, queen, or king. If you order a twin, you only get one of each. Okay, so this is so far just going to be super easy unless I have to put those corners on. It's just like putting on a fitted sheet. I don't know if I need those things yet, so I'm going to see in a minute. Oh wow, this is nice and... That corner is so nice. Wow, 
so far it's easy peasy. So let me go around to the other side. Yeah, I think I, just to keep it flat, I think I will need some of the grippers. This is definitely going to be a game changer, I can already tell. I love how this is tucking underneath the mattress though, a lot better. Yeah, this is, this is really nice actually. Let me show you, because it's going to stay tucked. It's going to stay tucked and not be crazy like the other one. I am going to love this, I can tell already, but let me show you what I mean. I mean, it's a little wrinkly straight out of the package, but it's tucked all the way around. And if I use those corners to pull it even tighter, it'll be really nice. But look at here's the zipper. Look at that. Unzip. Get in bed. They even have this extra fabric that comes out to cover the zipper. And then when you want to make your bed, you just fold that part in. Go like that. Zip. Let's zip. And your bed's made. That's it. That's it, and the bed's made. Holy cow. This is going to be amazing. Oh, geez. No tuck, tuck, tuck. No extra sheets under there. I can make the bed that quick. Yeah, this is awesome. Open these up, and when I bought these at the dollar store, I didn't realize they they won't grip. This is pretty thick, and they won't go through the thickness with the stupid clasp. Let me see. So, so what I could do is just um, pull the elastic through on the bottom tighter. Um, make a little opening, pull the elastic a little bit tighter, and then sew that. So I have that option. But I can tell because my mattress is less than um, six inches that it was going to be, I didn't know, but now I can tell I'm probably going to want that um, tighter. So no biggie though, because I know this is going to be really awesome. I just need to get it a little tighter so I don't know if you can see. So this won't bunch up right here on the end. But after I solve after I solve that and I'm going to sleep in it a while and then I'm going to be back to let you guys know my overall feeling about it. But I think I'm really going to like it. So right now I'm going to try to get into bed and just feel what it's like. So let me get the camera settled. This is awesome, people. Oh, what comfort. It's super comfortable. Wow, this is nice. What's really good about the zipper is on one side you can leave it open. You can even unzip the bottom. Like you'd like your feet to hang out at night. 
Like if you'd like your feet to hang out at night, you can unzip it around the bottom. You can unzip your side of the bed. So if you want to be snuggly warm, zip up your side of the bed. If you're hot, unzip your side of the bed. This is great. And now I'm going to make it real quick. <laughs> camera's hard to do. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so far I'm loving it, and I think it's going to be amazing in here. Ooh, what in the world? That little bit of laying in the bed really <laughs> got me go. Got my hair crazy. Jeez. All right, anyway. Yeah, so far, loving it, so I'm going to give you a full review. It's very well made, I do know that. Anyway, they didn't. I did not get sponsored by these people. I wanted to try it on my own. I bought it with my own money. But if you do love it and you use our link, we will get a little bit of something, something back. Anyway. Okay, so I had this handy-dandy sewing kit, and what I did was I pulled it tighter and I just sewed it down in the corner so I'm just gonna do that on all four corners because when I wash it I just want it to be already sewed but you could have used safety pins you could have safety pinned this down and it would have been fine too I'm just doing a little bit more permanent solution but anyway that's what I'm gonna do on all four corners and hopefully it is perfect and I could have bought those different um, sheet extender things but that would have clipped on a heavier fabric, but I know that they had a bunch of them, but I decided I didn't want to wait and spend more money, so I'm just gonna do it this way. So here's what it looks like all finished. At least for now. It looks very well tucked after I, look at this. After I sewed the corners and tightened the elastic, it's perfect. I'm pretty sure I'm going to love, love, love this. Anyway, I will definitely let you know I'm going to be sleeping in it for a while and then you guys will get the full review, but look at it. How nice. Easy peasy to just to make your bed, my goodness. Okay guys, this is my final review. Um, I've been using the Bettys for, I don't know, like three months. And I have to say, it is a game changer. This is something, this might be my number one thing that I absolutely love in the van. It has made my life so much easier. It is incredible. Ever since I sewed the corners and made it fit a little bit tighter, I mean, it zips up. I washed it. As you can see, um, it washed up great. It's good quality. Um, you can take the top off and just wash the top. Like if i um, gunner's paws or gets hair on it or whatever, I can just unzip the top and throw it in. Um, with, you can wash the whole thing. Um, take it off. It just slips right on like a fitted sheet and, um, zips easily and, the bed looks so much better. I can get up and down and it's not all messy everywhere. I can actually get inside and um, literally to make the bed in the morning is just zipping it. And um, I mean, it's like so easy to zip it and it just looks so much better than it did before. I am very, very, very happy with this. So there is a link down below in the description box. Go there, check out all the colors. You're gonna wanna get one because let me tell you, like I said, it's it, it's one of my very, very, very favorite purchases. I don't have to have a messy van and be tucking, 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 pulling, straightening. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know that this is a problem for a lot of people where there's not a lot of room to tuck things it's you know a very small space in a van so one last thing because I forgot to say it that minky material is the most comfortable stuff against your skin that I've ever 
slept with seriously it's like a baby soft super soft like baby blanket or something um and with my fibromyalgia things will bother me and certain materials don't feel really good this i may tell you it's like so comfortable like i can't wait to unzip and get in my bed it is that comfortable anyway um other people like the 100 percent cotton well the bottom is 100 percent cotton but the top i love the minky that would turned out to be a good choice because I was going to get the 100% cotton which I guess if you live in humid areas maybe that's best but um, I'm glad I got the minky. Anyway. I really appreciate you guys watching and you're going to want to subscribe because I have some upcoming videos that you're definitely going to want to see. There's going to be um, some makeover stuff in the van and also very, information about my ruggable rug which is also something i really love in the van so stick around there's going to be lots of stuff you're not going to want to miss so we'll see you next video and thank you all of, i just want to also thank our channel members um you put gas in our tank you make us smile every day and we love you guys so we appreciate you we appreciate everybody that watches everybody that comments we appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. See you next video. Bye.